Onward, Jeeves. <laughs> All right. We are thankful for clouds today, aren't we, Josh? Because I think we all thought we were going to have heat strokes yesterday. It was, like, rough. I think the heat de index was over 100, plus the uh, reflection of the ICF. We were, we were baking, but that's all right. Uh, so, I moved the concrete pour to next week because of the rain and stuff that came in, and we just got behind a little bit. And uh, I think we could have made it. We have been tight, so better just to, you know, get it right than rush it at this point. Yeah, you've seen all this. This is ready, so I'm going to get in here. I brought one of the filters down, and I'm going to go ahead and set the pipes to come through pretty much where they need to be uh, so as I can avoid uh, elbows and stuff later, if possible. We'll see. So I'm gonna work on getting all the sleeves put into the pump room so that'll be ready. Josh is going to take a two inch pipe and three inch pipe and cut it down into those sleeves for us. So we've, we can go ahead and get all the penetrations in and spray foam those in. And I did run the laser yesterday. And as I thought, the wall right there is about uh, three inches lower than the other walls like we needed. So, but I still do need to cut probably about an inch off and there's some uh, adjustment. I see some lifting on that corner. I have to get that right. So anyway, in the day tomorrow, we should be in really good shape. James is making some jigs for us. Hopefully they work out. We'll see uh, to cut the pieces for the radius because that's that and the doors are what's left. So we can pour that. Appreciate you. I'm going to set up time lapse for Josh doing the cuts. And as I cut things down here, I'll come back and... Uh, talk about what I'm doing and showing me make cuts and stuff like that. So let's do it. I am fairly well now. I am strong. I am goodbye. I'm a long way from home. I am an orchard at the start of spring. I am a mockingbird, I love to sing, and I'm on a fly, I'm gonna fly. I am an old road, walking on my feet. I am laughing neath the weeping willow tree I am a dog barking, a honeybee sting I ain't no angel, but I've got my wings I'm on a fly I'm gonna fly All right, so let's talk about what I've done. So I've set this where I want it. And then what matters at this point is where I want this left to right. Okay, I can put it closer further away. I'm just doing a piece through the wall. But I've set this where I want it. I've got some room on this side to walk around. So, I mean, I could go a little bit more to the right. So I need room on this wall because there's a lot of uh, return piping from the upper pool that's going to come through here conduit electrical conduit because all my electrical all my electrical conduit will be on this wall what i've done is i take the laser and we set it so that it's on the center point of that both ways and across and then that shows me where that ends up on that wall i don't know why somebody can't make one of these bright enough to see during the day i mean it's pretty pathetic actually as much as you pay for these they aren't a whole lot brighter than this None that they got glasses and all this crap you can wear. So you get that set where you want it and make some nice point on that side. 
And then immediately I see, well, that's not going to work. Why? Because it's right in the webbing. Cool. So this is why it's good to figure this stuff out now. So I can either move to the left or I can move to the right. Now I actually have a lot of space here. The other filter is going to go uh, about here in a pump, which feeds all the filtering for the lower pool. And then here sits the pump that does the waterfall. And then this is pretty much empty space. So we ended up with a lot of space, which is great because I'm probably going to add another pump for some other waterfall action. I've got some other things. So yeah, so I think if I'm going to move either way, I'm probably going to move to the left because I wouldn't mind being able to walk over here really easily to do what I need to do. So let's do that. All right. There's our little X point. All right, so I'm going to come up about three inches from that because the concrete's going to be four inches and I'm an inch above center line right now on this. And I don't want to disturb it since I've got it level. Drill my hole and that'll be the pass through that feeds the bubbler. So the output, so the output from this is going to go to an IC40, which basically makes the water so you can't get electrocuted in it. And then there's a three-way valve that does the returns or the bubblers. So it'll automatically, so if I say, hey, I want the bubblers on, so instead of returning the water to the pool through the upper returns, it'll return through the bubblers. And then the other, where it tees off the other side, does the laminars or the uh, other upper returns. So. That's how we're doing laminars and the bubblers. And you got your output for your backwash. We now know that this point matches up with that point. So I'll come up three inches and that'll be for the bubblers. And I'll come up three inches a little over and I can do mine for the returns. It doesn't really matter. It just means that if I set my three-way valve in line here, I can adjust that valve wherever it needs to be to tee off and go through this one and make it kind of nice. So this is, Right? Exciting? Yeah? Cool? Woop woop. Learning something? I'm um, showing you this stuff instead of doing time lapse. Aren't you excited? I know I am. This will end up sitting a little further back, which is fine. We got all this room for a reason. And so I'll have this in a row. So I'll put one there, one there, and one there. One's going to the returns, one's going to the other half of the returns, and one will go to the laminars. So let me go ahead and do that right now, because no time like the present, I got my line all the way across. Position that on my handy dandy mark. So the issue is the foam is deeper than the hole saw. I have to push it a little extra. See? Now I've got the open wall, so I'll just go down there and take them out. But if it was already closed up, I'd have to pull them out. So two inch to returns, two inch to returns, two inch to the skimmer. inch sleeve for my water feed because I'm going to run a one inch water pipe in here and I don't have any inch and a half so I might as well give myself some extra clearance. I'm sure we'll need it for something, don't worry. Alright, that's a three inch and this one is a three inch and then over there for the electrical is a four inch sleeve. So that's it for these until I think of more stuff. Who did it? I see you. Hello. What's going on? Hmm. Hmm. Got that hole cut all the way through. That's for the, that's going to be the pass through for the conduit that feeds the 200 amp sub panel there. That's the three inch that goes to the sun shelf for the bubblers. I'm going to run uh, some one inch conduit on this side, four pieces to feed the lights for the bubblers. Get those up in there. And then I just got to cut these through on the other side. 
And then I got to think about what did I forget? Because you know it's going to be something. I mean, I know I've still got stuff on that side, but I'm talking about as far as this side. So I think I'm going to want a two inch piece of conduit all the way from here just for me for like AV stuff for low voltage. So maybe I want two more two inch conduits. One, one for me and one for spare as far as electrical goes. That's always a good idea because you, you always need more. One is none, right? One is none. That's how you got to think of it. Isn't that it? If you have one of something, it might as well be none of something. If you have two, it's one, and so on. Huh? Two is one. Yeah, that's it. Is that why I got so many kids? I don't think it's the same analogy. <laughs> Hold on. That's perfect. Wait, I got to get... I gotta make sure I get this for the, this is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Good> <laughs> All right, so now we take the sleeves. Ta-da. And those go in. Uh no, but they are like some sort of special wood. Why they look the same. Oh. So then you just decide how much sleeve you want. Basically, on the ones that are just sleeves, so the difference is, so they're all sleeved through the concrete. But in this case, the actual electrical conduit is going to go through here, right, and be foamed in. This is just to keep the concrete off of the conduit. So we put those in. Now, the ones like for the laminars and the returns, the ones that are actually going to have water, those are the pipes, not just sleeves. So you want to leave a certain amount sticking out so you're not having to add on and then turn. You want to be able to just put your, you know, elbow, whether it's a, knife, a 90 or a 45 or whatever, you want to be able to put that on the piece sticking out. So you're not doing a bunch of joints. Uh, so, yeah. So let me get those in place and then you'll see, you'll see what comes next. All right, so now we spray foam it in. I mean, uh, expansion foam it in. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll be ready. Okay. And we got a little bit. We got a little bit of stuff left, right? Yep. What we got left, Josh? Uh, I've got to add rebar to the sun shelf and then ah. add more to the negative edge oh yeah we've got to cut out pour over for the negative edge oh yeah yeah so fast foot in some places yeah you have to add the foam and the rebar into the bottom yeah in the pool you have to add the drain and the, whatever else and, piping wise right so i mean we got a solid full day if it's just me and you we probably got a day and a half but if uh we actually get some help that knows what they're doing we can be done yeah, and I gotta leave tomorrow. I gotta go get the girls tomorrow afternoon. So get out here early. We'll be ready to knock off. <laughs>